Mm -hmm. when we moved internationally for the first time. We actually moved from America to Scotland three weeks after we got married and we were just 21 and 22. And so for us, many people think we have this incredibly spiritual story about the way that it happened. The actual way that it happened is that we wanted to uh, spend the first year of our marriage away and traveling and we looked in the YWAM Go Manual and pointed on the thing that looked the coolest and we decided to come to Scotland and it really was more about a desire of our heart moment. And so I, I, have, I have tried to put it into spiritual language but I actually feel like that the thing that God so honored in that moment was us going, we'd love to do an adventure with you God. And he said, where do you want to go? What do you want to do? And I think that just that thing of understanding that he really is a good father, he really does love us, and he really does care about the desires of our hearts. We couldn't know at that time what that would mean. We're now 24, 25 years in uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, we were in Scotland and we were in England for many years. Now we're in Northern Ireland. And at each time that we have moved, we haven't been able to see the future any more than anyone else who makes a move, even in their local town, necessarily knows what's going to happen. Um, but we have just at every point been exceptionally aware that He loves us, He has good plans for us, and that He's not going to forget us or abandon us. And certainly there have been times where all of those fears come in and you think, what's happening? What is the direction of our lives? But that deep, deep down understanding that He is good and He loves us and He does care about the desires of our heart, even when we don't always understand what that's going to look like. When we moved, especially when we moved to Northern Ireland, we really didn't have a plan about what that was going to look like and how was that going to work out in our lives and our family and, and our finances. But we knew that he was saying Northern Ireland. And so when we got there, it was a step of faith. It was a, a, it was a risk. But we're so glad that we listened to the desires of our heart and had trusted Him. And it was the moves from the past that gave us the confidence to know that He was not going to abandon us. He was not going to forsake us. And sometimes just life teaches you that. And your experience with God over time teaches you how He works and how He moves. And I think the longer that I live with Him as my Savior and my Father, and my friend, I understand that he wants good things for me.